Nitin's mother has a difficult time persuading him to finish all the food served on his plate. Often, Nitin makes a fuss and his mother ends up throwing the leftover food from his plate into the trash can. The maid who works at Nitin's house brings her son Karan along with her one day. Nitin's mother asks him to give a few comics to Karan to read while he waits for his mother to finish her work. Nitin gives Karan a few comics. Don't you have school today? asks Nitin as he finishes his homework. My school is in the afternoon. I can't wait to go, says Karan excitedly. You like school? says Nitin in an astonishing manner. I don't like to go to school. Even recess is only for half an hour. We finish our lunch in 10 minutes and try to play during the remaining time. Adds Nitin. I like my school, says Karan. Our teachers are very nice. I play with my friends too. Also, we get a tasty lunch of rice and curry. Don't you get that at home? Asks Nitin surprisingly. Our school canteen has only burgers and sandwiches. I'm bored of eating the same every day. I wish I was that lucky. Most days, we eat only dry bread at home. And on some days, we get nothing to eat. But I eat well at school, so I don't feel hungry at home, says Karan. Nitin is silent. He goes to his mother in a pensive mood and asks, Mom, why doesn't Karan get food at home? Nitin's mother explains that on some days, it is hard for Karan's mother to save money for food. That is why he eats the simple but nutritious food he gets at school. Mother stresses the fact that not everyone is as lucky as Nitin to get the kind of food that they like at any time of the day. This is why Nitin, Daddy and I don't like it when you waste food. because. Millions of poor children get only one meal to eat, says Nitin's mother. She tells him that he should finish everything on his plate before taking a second helping. Take smaller portions, but finish everything on your plate. Eat everything that is cooked at home. And not just your favorite dishes. Eating proper food will give you strength and energy, she adds. I promise, Mom, I'll never waste food again, says Nitin solemnly. Hi, my name is Rose and I'm enjoying my summer holidays with my grandparents. Every day, they teach me something new and that is indeed exciting. One day, I went into the kitchen and asked Grandma what she was doing. She pointed to a small black plastic bag and said, I am putting wet waste in here. What is wet waste? I asked. Vegetable skins, 
used tea leaves, used lemon rinds and eggshells are all wet waste. You need to separate it from the dry waste that might get recycled. Oh, so dry waste is paper and plastic packets? I asked. That's right, said Grandma. Now, be a pet and give the wet waste back to your grandpa, said Grandma. He puts it in a compost pit to make manure fertilizer for his plants. I went out to Grandpa and gave him the wet waste bag. He put it in the pit and covered it. Earthworms in the pit will turn this waste into a good fertilizer, said Grandpa. What would happen if dry and wet wastes aren't separated? I asked Grandpa. It can harm nature. Soil can get blocked because of the rubbish lying on the earth's surface. Mosquitoes and flies will breed in the dirt and will spread diseases. Explained Grandpa. Yes, said Grandma, joining in the conversation. Water too can get stagnated instead of getting absorbed by the ground. I curiously asked Grandma what she had done with the stack of newspapers lying in the storeroom. She told me that she had given them to David Uncle for recycling. Do you know that recycling helps to reuse paper and prevent a lot of trees from being cut? said Grandma. I have now learnt a lot about putting wastes to good use. I am going to teach my mother and friends about this when I go back home. Amit? Ria and Ali sit together for lunch every day. Let's listen to their conversation as they talk about their tiffin items. Amit, what is your mother packed for you today? Nothing special. Just bread and a potato curry. I wish she had packed kebabs today. Kebabs just make my mouth water. But mom says fried food isn't healthy. Of course, it's not healthy. Most of the food we like is never healthy. That's not true. My mother makes a mixed vegetable curry, which is my favorite dish, and it's also very healthy. I wish I had that today instead of curd rice. I prefer fish to vegetables. I love to eat prawn pickle and fish vindaloo. It makes me feel like I'm in Goa. I think Ali must have been a cat in his last life. Is there fish in your lunchbox, Ali? My mother won't let me take it to school. I have vegetable pancakes and tomato sauce. That looks yummy and must be healthy also. Ask your mother to give my mother the recipe. I will do that. But I wish I had some pasta. No one makes better pasta than my mother. Please try and get it to school. I also like pasta a lot. Sure. And maybe when all of you come home for my birthday party next week, I will ask her to serve pasta. Hooray! Welcome to the Birds Word Club. Meet all the club members. A few phony club members.
Some craftsmen have woven together this quilt using patches of old clothes. They have hidden some words in the quilt. Guess the words from their meanings and then find the words in the quilt. Here are the photos we took at Mona's birthday party. But what's this? They are all jumbled up. Help us put them back in the correct order.